Welcome to this eVault Education Services technology demonstration video. This video demonstration will illustrate the installation of an eVault Windows agent with an optional Image Backup plugin. The Image Backup plugin allows a backup administrator to more quickly and efficiently protect an entire NTFS volume. With the Image Backup plugin, an entire NTFS volume is backed up as a single image file. This is different from a standard Windows agent file and folder backup that backs up a large set of individual files and folders. Image backup is the preferred method for NTFS volumes with anywhere from 100,000 files to millions of files. When an NTFS volume has a large number of files, image backup is much faster than a normal eVault Windows agent backup because it does not have to read a long list of files and folders from the NTFS file system as part of the backup process. As with all eVault backup agents, the first backup is a full seed backup, while subsequent backups are delta backups. For delta backups, Image Backup utilizes a changed block tracking mechanism to back up only those blocks that have changed since the last backup. Once an NTFS volume has been backed up, there are multiple recovery options available. The entire NTFS volume can be restored in the event of a disaster, or just selected files and folders from the NTFS volume can be restored. When combined with the eVault System Restore product, even bare metal recovery of an entire failed system is possible. For this demonstration, an eVault Windows Agent installation program has already been downloaded to the desktop. I will double click the installer program to launch the installation wizard. The installer program asks you to select a language for the installation. While the default language is United States English, French, German, Spanish, and Portuguese are also available on the drop-down arrow. I will accept the default language of United States English and click OK to continue. You will see the Windows MSI file being extracted. This typically only takes a few seconds. Then the Windows MSI file is decompressed. Once again, this typically takes only a few seconds. Once the Windows MSI file has been read, the Installation Wizard's Welcome window appears on the desktop. You can click Next to continue. This window only provides information and requires no user input. By default, it displays information about where to go to get product support, if product support were to become necessary. To view additional information, click the View Down arrow. Now on the drop-down menu, select Release Notes. This window provides information about who to contact in order to obtain product release notes. Click Next to continue the installation. The End User License Agreement appears in this window. Notice that it includes a scroll bar that you can use to view and read the entire license. Click the radio button to accept the terms of the license agreement. You must accept the license terms or you cannot install the product. Then click Next to continue. There are two installation methods, Typical and Custom. If you intend to install any of the optional agent plugins, you must choose a custom installation. Because I intend to install the Image Backup plugin, I will select a custom installation. Then click Next to continue the installation. A Windows agent is comprised of a set of Windows executables. These executables must run with the proper permissions in order to be able to back up and restore files, folders, and NTFS volumes. In order to run with the necessary permissions, the executables must run with the proper credentials. In order for the Image Backup plugin to work correctly, the agent must run as the local system account. Accept the default credentials in this window and then click Next to continue. 
You are offered the choice to change the default software installation path. A common reason for changing the installation path is because of storage space limitations on the C drive. While the storage requirements for each type of agent and plugin varies, a reasonable estimate is to assume that you will need approximately 100 megabytes of free storage space. Because the demonstration system has sufficient space on its C drive, I will accept the default installation path and click Next to continue. If you initially chose to perform a custom installation, you are offered the choice of which software to install. The agent software and the agent assistant software are pre-selected for installation, at least in this version of the eVault Windows agent. You can scroll down to view the additional software installation choices. Notice that there are several optional agent plugins available. Click to select the Image Backup plugin. Then choose to install all of the Image Backup features. And then click Next to continue. In this window, you will register the agent with Web Central Control. Remember that the portal software is layered over the Web Central Control software. If you register an agent with Web Central Control in this window, the agent is also registered with Portal. The Image Backup plugin can only be managed using Portal. The default network address is protect.evault.com, which is the host name of the eVault portal installation used by eVault's cloud-connected customers. If you have installed your own portal software on another host, enter its host name here. I will click in the network address text box so that I can change the host name. Portal has been installed on a local system in the demonstration environment. It was installed on a system with a host name of Portal. I will type Portal in the network address text box. I will also accept the default Portal port number. This is the port number that the agent will use to contact Portal. To enter an existing Portal username, click in the Username text box. Enter the name of the Portal user. Once the agent has been installed, this user will log into Portal and configure the agent with a vault connection and backup jobs. This user can be a normal Portal user or a Portal user with administrative privileges. Next, click in the password text box so that you can enter the password of the Portal user. When you are finished, click Next to continue. With all of the pre-installation configuration choices completed, click Install to begin the software installation. A series of progress bars are displayed during installation. Installation only takes a minute or so to complete. Once software installation is complete, you are prompted to configure the URL used to access Web Central Control. If your Web Central Control system is local, you could enter the host name of the system. If the Web Central Control system is not local, enter its fully qualified domain name. While you must configure this URL during agent installation, remember that you can only manage image backup using Portal. Click in the text box in order to change the URL. In this demonstration environment, Web Central Control and Portal are installed on a system with the host name of Portal. I will modify the URL to use this host name. The URL to access the help files does not have to be modified. Help files are accessed directly from an eVault website. Once you have modified the URL, click Next to continue. Then click Finish to end the installation and close the installation wizard. As a final step, you are prompted to reboot the system because the Image Backup plugin was installed. Delta backups performed by the Image Backup plugin depend on a changed block tracking mechanism. The changed block tracking mechanism can only operate properly after the system has been rebooted. While you do not have to reboot immediately, you should reboot the system before performing an image backup. I will click Yes to reboot the demonstration system now. 
Once the system has rebooted, the agent is ready for configuration using Portal. Another video will demonstrate using Portal to backup and restore at NTFS volume using the Image Backup plugin. Thanks for watching this video about the installation of an eVault Windows agent with the optional Image Backup plugin.